May Jesus Christ be praised in his blessed mother. My name is Father David J. Kozak. I am pastor of Incarnation of Our Lord Parish in South Bethlehem and Holy Ghost Parish in Southside Bethlehem. I also minister to the Polish speaking community in this vicinity. I say mass for them in Polish and we're in the midst of celebrating the feast day, the preparation for the feast day of Our Lady of Częstochowa, Our Lady of the Bright Mountain, Our Lady the Black Virgin. She's a special patroness and I'd like to dedicate these days that we're doing together of the total consecration to Mary of St. Louis de Montfort to her honor and her respect. We're doing day 25. From true devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Numbers 213 to 225. This recounts the wonderful effects of this devotion. My dear friend, be sure that if you remain faithful to the interior and exterior practices of this devotion, which I will point out, the following effects will be produced in your soul. Number one. Knowledge of our unworthiness. By the light which the Holy Spirit will give you through Mary, his faithful spouse, you will perceive the evil inclinations of your fallen nature and how incapable you are of any good. Finally, the humble Virgin Mary will share her humility with you so that although you regard yourself with distaste and desire to be disregarded by others, you will not look down slightingly upon anyone. Number two, a share in Mary's faith. Mary will share her faith with you. Her faith on earth was stronger than that of all the patriarchs prophets, apostles, and saints of will rid your heart of all scruples and inordinate servile fear. Number four, great confidence in God and in Mary. Our Blessed Lady will fill you with unbounded confidence in God and in herself because you will no longer approach Jesus by yourself, but always through Mary, your loving mother. Number five, communication of the spirit of Mary. The soul of Mary will be communicated to you to glorify the Lord. Her spirit will take the place of yours to rejoice in God, her savior but only if you are faithful to the practices of this devotion. Number six, transformation into the likeness of Jesus. If Mary, the tree of life, is well cultivated in our soul by fidelity to this devotion, she will in due time bring forth her fruit which is none other than Jesus. Number seven, the greater glory of Christ. If you live this devotion sincerely, you will give more glory to Jesus in a month than in many years of a more demanding devotion. Let us invoke the Holy Spirit 
the spouse of the Virgin Mary in the litany of the Holy Ghost. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Father, all powerful, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal Son of the Father, Redeemer of the world, save us. Spirit of the Father and the Son, boundless life of both, sanctify us. Holy Trinity, hear us. Holy Ghost, who proceeds from the Father and the Son into our hearts. Holy God, who are equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Promise of God the Father, have mercy on us. Ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us. Author of all good, have mercy on us. Source of heavenly water, have mercy on us. Consuming fire, have mercy on us. Spiritual unction, have mercy on us. Spirit of love and truth, have mercy on us. Spirit of wisdom and understanding, have mercy on us. Spirit of counsel and fortitude, have mercy on us. Spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, have mercy on us. Spirit of grace and prayer, have mercy on us. Spirit of peace and meekness, have mercy on us. Spirit of modesty and innocence, have mercy on us. Holy Ghost, the Comforter, have mercy on us. Holy Ghost, the Sanctifier, have mercy on us. Holy Ghost, who governs the church, have mercy on us. Gift of God the Most High, have mercy on us. Spirit who fillest the universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the adoption of the children of God, have mercy on us. Holy Ghost, inspire us with horror of sin. Holy Ghost, come and renew the face of the earth. Holy Ghost, shed thy light in our souls. Holy Ghost, engrave your law in our hearts. Holy Ghost, inflame us with the flame of thy love. Holy Ghost, open to us the treasures of thy graces. Holy Ghost, Teach us to pray well. Holy Ghost, enlighten us with thy heavenly inspirations. Holy Ghost, lead us in the way of salvation. Holy Ghost, grant us the only necessary knowledge. Holy Ghost, inspire in us the practice of good. Holy Ghost, Grant us the merits of all virtues. Holy Ghost, make us persevere in justice. Holy Ghost, be our everlasting reward. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, send us your Holy Spirit. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, Pour down into our souls the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us the spirit of wisdom 
and piety. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful Father, that thy divine spirit may enlighten, inflame, and purify us, that he may penetrate us with his heavenly dew and make us fruitful in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who with thee in the unity of the same Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Ad Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Preparation for Consecration, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seed of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, pray for us. Mystical robes, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, Pray for us. Health of the sick. Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen Conceived Without Original Sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, 
pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord God, that unto us, your servants, that we may rejoice in continual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, may be delivered from present sadness and enter into the joy of your eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Ave Mari Stella. Hail, O star of the ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest. Taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eve's name. Break the sinner's fetters, make our blindness day, chase all evils from us, for all blessings pray. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us, thine infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin all excelling, mildest, mildest of the mild, free from guilt preserve us, meek and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy forevermore. Praise to God the Father, honor to the Son, in the Holy Spirit, be the glory one. Amen. St. Louis de Montfort's Prayer to Mary. Hail Mary, beloved daughter of the Eternal Father. Hail Mary, admirable mother of the Son. Hail Mary, faithful spouse of the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, my dear mother, my loving mistress, my powerful sovereign. Hail, my joy, my glory, my heart and my soul. Thou art all mine by mercy, and I am all thine by justice. But I am not yet sufficiently thine. I now give myself of holy without anything which does not belong to thee. I beseech thee to take it and to make thyself the absolute mistress of all that is mine. Root it up and bring it to naught. Place and cultivate in me everything that is pleasing to thee. May the light of thy faith dispel the darkness of my mind. May thy profound humility take the place of my pride. May thy sublime contemplation check the distractions of my wandering imagination. May thy continuous sight of God fill my memory with his presence. May the burning love of thy heart inflame the lukewarmness of mine. May thy virtues take the place of my sins. May thy merits be my only adornment in the sight of God, and make all for all make up for all that is wanting in me. Finally, dearly beloved mother, grant, if it be possible, that I may have no other spirit but thine to know Jesus and his divine will, that I may have no other soul but thine to praise and glorify the Lord that I may have no other heart but thine to love God 
with a love as pure and ardent as thine. I do not ask thee for visions, revelations, sensible devotion, or spiritual pleasures. It is thy privilege to see God clearly. It is thy privilege to enjoy heavenly bliss. It is thy privilege to triumph gloriously in heaven at the right hand of thy son and to hold absolute sway over angels, men, and demons. It is thy privilege to dispose of all the gifts of God, just as thou willest. Such is, O heavenly Mary, the best part which the Lord has given thee, and which shall never be taken away from thee. And this thought fills my heart with joy. As for my part here below, I wish for no other than that which was thine, to believe sincerely without spiritual pleasures, to suffer joyfully without human consolation, to die continually to myself without respite, and to work zealously and unselfishly for thee until death as the humblest of thy servants. The only grace I beg thee to obtain for me is that every day and every moment of my life I may say amen. So be it's all that thou didst do while on earth. Amen. So be it's all that thou art now doing in heaven. Amen. So be it to all that thou art doing in my soul so that thou alone may glor fully glorify Jesus in me for time and eternity. Amen. <laughs>